Hey, how's it going? Over the past couple videos, we've finally been getting our base totally squared away and done over here by the Red Obelisk. I like it, man. I like it. Very nice scenery. Very large. I did do a little bit of different painting on the floors here. So we did have black for the top parts there. Went ahead and changed it to gunmetal. It kind of tones it down a little bit. It thinks it looks a little bit better than the black. I don't know. The black was a little bit too shiny, but I think that kind of works out, man. So what I want to do today is start working on our Great Wall. And if you haven't heard me talk about it, what I plan on doing out here is seeing how we're doing all of our breeding for the boss fight for the dragon right here. We're going to have quite a few teams, some bigger teams. Why are you running? That right there is why we need the Great Wall. I don't put walls, or not walls, but uh, doors on my bases. So creatures can kind of just run in. There are a lot of raptors around here. But what I want to do is build a wall that kind of closes in this whole back section over here. That way, when we start our breeding, we're going to have mammoths and fairies for sure. Still not sure what I want to use on the alpha version of the dragon, but I want to be able to have them all lined out over here and be somewhat safe. So, we're going to kind of start off right here by the corner, probably right where this is. Now, we have to do foundations down. It's going to be the exact same wall that we have over at the other base. Come this way. Probably stop at this tree right here. I don't think we have enough room to go around it. Where's that raptor at, man? See what this grass is so tall, dude. It's kind of a terrifying thing, especially whenever there's raptors involved, because you can't see nothing but their little heads kind of poking up when they run. Now I know, I know there's a way to make the grass shorter, but I want to kind of leave it like it is, man. I don't like changing too much of this stuff from the original way that it is. But anyways, for the wall, we'll come down to about right here, and then head up this way. Now I'm not too sure how far we're going to go this way. There's that raptor. Yep, don't knock over my tree. I will definitely not be happy. I wonder where his friends are. But well, there's one, there's always at least 10 or 20 more. You alright? It might be alright. Hear footsteps. Oh, they're compies, dude. I tell you what. Look, guys, today is not the day, man. We alright? We good? But I think we're gonna want to go up to where this tree here is inside of the fence. Then the one part I'm not too sure about is how far this way I want to go. Might just go to where this corner right here is closed in and cap it off. Part of me wants to have it to where it goes over to where the Quetzal is, but I'm not too sure. We'll kind of figure that out as we start building it. Now, one of the problems we're going to have is I need some more of the plant species. I think we only got like 10 of them left. Double check real quick. We got 12. Let's go ahead and take a trip over to the swamp. We'll go ahead and grab some more of those. Now, there is a swamp very, very close. That's kind of one of the terrifying things. All this up here is all swamp. Right by the redwoods. So, I think we'll get on the Thyla. Run along the beach and start looking here. I'm hoping we'll find some along the beach. Now, the other swamp that we got them from last time was over here. And I think it was like right on the edge of it is where we found it. So I'm hoping we can kind of do the same thing here. It'll give us a chance also to kind of take a look around, see what's around here. And then I got quite a bit of stuff already made up. I've got 110 of the pillars. The other thing that we need are the foundations. Got an even 100 on those. And then the railings, I got like 200. 275. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. It is very resource intensive. Also got some more stuff farmed up with the Dodic, trying to clean out the area anyways. So we got enough stone, wood, and thatch to kind of finish that off. I haven't made any of the large crop plots yet for the plant species. I don't think we have any, do we? We got three. Don't know how many we need. We'll make those at the end, and then we'll have to figure out water. Probably just extend some of the... Probably some of the um, water tanks out from here. Over that way. You guys also let me some more comments, too. I need to move my door. Totally forgot that the secret door is right behind where the grinder is here. So what we might do is just set it kind of behind it. Set it up right here. Let's go just do it now. Oh, I don't want to repaint it, though. We'll do that before we go. We'll just change this one right here to the secret door, and that kind of allows us to get to, well, the water tank that's under here, as well as the generator. Need to make up some more gas and stuff. Have to see how we're doing on our oil. Put this guy inside, just in case, man. We'll put the bird in here, too, and then we'll jump on the cat. The tails, dude, the tails. Buddy, look. Move forward some, please. Appreciate it. There we go, man. There we go. Bring the bird in, too. Don't want to lose him. I have not seen another one with this kind of color pattern. There's some that are almost the same, but the orange on the head there, it's, uh, I haven't found that on any yet. How's our armor? We are going into the swamp. Let's... Ah, let's go ahead and repair it. We're going to need some fiber, some metal, and some hide. 
that we have been in the base building for like the past week or so. So it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be kind of weird going out into the wild. Hopefully we don't die or lose a cat. I'm really worried about the attack helicopters. I know there's a bunch of them around. Go and just take. Yep, we can move that. 200 should be fine. Hopefully that's enough stuff to repair these. I need to get on the drop runs again. I've done so many, man, and have not found any more parts to finish off our, our flak. Now this one we don't have the blueprint for. All, only one that we have blueprint for is the pants. So it's kind of a thing. Shotgun's good. We got 53 on the shots. I think we're alright, man. So, jump on you. Let's eat a little bit of food. Let's grab some water. Where it's somewhat safe to do so. And I think what we'll do is just head out to the beach over here, run along the coast, and then see what we can find. Now, we're not going to look forever. If we can't find them here in a few minutes, we'll just kind of deal with what we got, and then maybe take a trip over to the other swamp. It's just, dude, it's so far away. Is that... It's a berry. It's a level 60. We are in the market for another theory. I'm not sure what level ours is. Oh, wait, not level, but uh, gender. Let's keep telling me, too, to look here, and then... Make it so much easier. So we need a male one. At least now it's easy to find what we have a base and what we need to tame. And I think one of the changes in the last patch was they made it so that things like the Thyla... Should be able to kill off some dodos and actually harvest them. It was super hard because it's like their hitbox was in the ground. Let's try it with the Lystro. Oh, we can! Oh, that's fantastic, man! I was skipping harvesting the dodos and stuff because... I mean, you just couldn't do it. You had to jump off the cats and then harvest it by hand. We do need another Orvaraptor. It's like the second or third one I've seen around here. Nice, dude. Nice. That's gonna make it a lot easier for farming up for meat and hide, for sure. Alright, give me a minute. It's just a little run up here, and then we'll see what we can find for some plant species. So this is the edge of the swamp. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's do neutral. That way he can kind of protect himself if something goes wrong. Now we do got the bed set up back at base, too. The Morphodon. Those things are terrifying. I don't know, the, uh, the yell from a man, it's so loud. Super worried about the Capros and helicopters, if there are any. I know one usually spawns, like, right up over there. And then the other one I've seen is on the other side, kind of over where our other base is. I don't see plant species. A ton of... We need to get a frog, man, for the cement paste. A ton of the dragonflies around here. Probably should have looked... Oh, man, see, I'm talking about right there. Helicopter. So that's a male one. Level 10. There's a berry, too. Look at the berry, dude! Gray and blue? Ah, oh, dude, we gotta tame him. We've gotta tame that guy! I don't wanna kill him off. But the helicopter... So that's a low-level one. I think we need the pheromone from the male... ...to tame a female? Right? Something like that? Have not looked up the mechanics at all on that, really. But if we can grab that now... ...we should be able to throw that into... I ...guess in the refrigerator, right? Not sure if it'll go into one on vanilla. Surprised we haven't heard it yet. They are super loud, dude. At least they used to be. No plant species either. There he is there. I do not... <laughs> I do not really want to go into the swamp to fight that guy. Mainly because of the Capros. There's a air tank. Cool colors, man. Solid white. Pink on the, uh, the fins. Junior! Can you come over here for a minute? Let me talk to you. Smack you around some. Hopefully not die in the process. Make sure that's the same one. It is. And yeah, they're super quiet now for some reason. Not sure what he's fighting. That's an air tank. Sarko. Yep, yep, yep. There we go, there we go. We're doing a whole 91 damage to him. That is not a good thing. I'm not sure what his special attack is. I think it just slows us. Oh, there we go, there. We had a debuff from him. That's right, the bleed from the cat should help out a lot. Come down here, man, I can't reach you. I got short, stubby legs. It's not my fault. Yep, yep. That looks different than it did last time. 
There we go, there we go. Did you get... Is there a bag? Is it not a guaranteed drop for the pheromone? I wonder if he got killed by the bleed effect. <gasps> it's a Capro! Come on, dude! Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Yep, 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 yep. You're right! It's a berry. Get some levels, you got four. Let's do all in damage. Is that the one we want to tame? It's not, it's a different one. Leave him alone, dude. Leave him alone, man! He did nothing to you! I got you, Junior. I got you! Yep. Got you a little bit too much. <laughs> I think we killed it too. So, anyways. We didn't get a pheromone, and we didn't see any of the plant species either. Just need one bush, I think. Should be enough. There's a frog. We'll come over here later. I want to wait to do all of our teaming and stuff until we have all of our stuff set up. It's kind of the whole point of having multiple bases. Is to have all of our taming stuff at one. Now we are kind of shy on kibble, so we need to get the UD set up. That's something we might do today. Is head over and grab... Capro. Head over and grab a couple of the eggs to hatch them, because I do want those over a base. Come on, dude! Yup. Yup. Tell you what, tell you what. Probably should have had the cat on neutral. Look, you guys do your own thing, man. Fight with the dragonflies. But yeah, if we can grab the eggs, hatch them back at base, possibly get a male and female. No, I don't think we need the air conditioners to hatch them. Have to do some testing. Then we can just tame a Orvaraptor later on, and we're kind of set over there for stuff. Guys, I just want one plant species bush. Now, give me a minute. Let me, uh, <laughs> let me go through the swamp. Try to find one if there is one over here. There's not always one out around all the swamps. I know that. We're over by the redwoods, too. Oh, there's drop. We're overweight as well. I take these. I take that. Not worried about the saddle. Well, we got the grinder back at base now. What do you have to wait so much? Was that always in your inventory? I think it was. Let's drop... Man, that's so much weight, dude. Let's just drop the meat. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I should have checked his inventory before we left. Crazy looking tapiera. Now, I'm not going very deep into the swamp here. If I can't find it, we'll just deal with the 12. Some plant species right here. I don't want to stop yet, though. There was a Capro running after me. I just didn't stop for it. You all right? If I jump off, am I going to die? Possibly. Maybe. It's always an option. <laughs> Give me these, man. I don't want the berries or the fiber. Please just give me the plant species. I hate that. It's like it picks everything around. Except for what you want. Should get about 20 or 30 out of here. That should be plenty. If we can actually pick the plant species. Buddy, look, man. Look, dude. What if they gave these things berries and stuff now? It seems like it, right? Because that is actually moving. Holy crap, dude, that took <laughs> forever and a day. We got, well, like, we got like 35, so that's not too bad. All right, so, let's head back to base. Let's drop all the berries and stuff, too. We got more berries than anything out of that. I mean, I guess it's kind of good. It saves you from just running up and grabbing what you need. It kind of makes you uh, sit in the swamp where it's totally not safe. Picking everything else in the world except for the, the things you want, right? We should be right across the river from base. We are. We're right at the edge. Okay, not too far. Let me get back to base. We'll go ahead and grab our stuff. There are berries everywhere. Oh, it's a Capro. It's a Capro. It's a Capro. Yep, look. <laughs> I see a base. We'll get our building parts. We'll empty out the ones out of the cat. And start building. Yep, I hear you, man. I hear you. I just don't care. That's the thing. I mean, I do. But I don't. You know what I mean. Can't wait until we can actually get our water pen set up, too. And start doing some taming. Really want to get the angler fish for grabbing some of these silica pearls that are in the water. Seems like we're having such a hard time with that. And I'd like to have some to make some saddles for some beauties. Things like that. Another drop right over here. We'll leave it for now, though. It's nice, man. We got a drop that lands right over there. And then there's another one somewhere right over here. Not too far away. Lands up there by that lake. So there's a lot of stuff around here that's definitely worth grabbing. Can we pick all this up without being too overweight? Can. Let's put all this into here. 
Everything at least that's supposed to go in there. Throw this into the grinder. And that as well. That's for a horse. Now let's grab... Well, let's put this away first. And drop this off. I know, I know, we need to get some of the feed troughs set out as well. I'm not too sure. One will go inside here. For all the breeding in here and doing the imprints. Probably just right inside here or maybe on the outside. Now, whenever we have them set up out there, I don't think we're going to have a feed trough out there. I'll just have to make sure that I feed them before we take them down to the obelisk for the boss fight. It's kind of a kind of a key thing. You know what? I'll just load this guy up with the parts. We can't carry everything at once. But we're going to start off with these. And I'm hoping 100 is going to be enough. If not, not a big deal. We can always make some more. I know, buddy, you're slow. Tell you what, just, uh... Just follow me. Please don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. Come outside, dude. There you go, man. There you go. Look at you. Being all smart and everything. Don't knock over the tree. Please do not knock over the tree. Hang tight there. So, we are starting right here. Now, we might have problems with the, yeah, the terrain size. Hmm. I'll we'll just drop down whenever we have to. Not a big deal. It's going to be different heights, I know, along the whole thing. I mean, that one could be on the inside. Going to drop down. Let's just stop it right there. Now, we will have to move these around some whenever we start doing the actual fence because I wanted to be able to break away even. Kind of like we did at the other base. That's not too bad, man. Now, we could use the pillars and ceilings, but I don't want it to be super tall. I mainly want the part above the ground to be the actual fence, right? Not the foundations and stuff. Because that'll be super tall over here by the time we get to the end there. Grab some more parts. Really wish we had the tech pants so we could just kind of overload ourselves. So let's start off with some of these. Some, not a lot. And then we'll come back and grab some more walls. We don't need 16 to start off with. That'll be fine there. Now we do need to set up a door somewhere around here. I'm thinking... Right over here we'll do it. Somewhere in this area. We'll set up our doorway and that'll be for getting the Thames out and then down to the beach. Head over to the obelisk. So let's start with... How do we want to start this? I guess like this. Right? Have the railings coming down. We have to set the first one. You get the second one to clip. At the steeper angle, it seems. Look underneath. There we go. I don't think we can actually attach this... ...right there. That's gonna be kinda weird setting that up. We can do it off of that one. It's gonna kinda poke through. Maybe we can just do half walls there? Like, actual walls? That'll work, or we'll paint them. I like it, dude. I like it. So someone left me a comment, too, about the top part here. Taking the railing and flipping it upside down. That actually looks a lot better, because the way we were doing it was normal side up. Wait, that's upside down again. I want it to be flipped the normal way. That's how I did it at the other base. I think it looks better with the stone along the top. That'll be a nice flat seam all the way across. Nice, man. Nice. Then you got all the wood on the inside and all the stone on the, on the outside. So we need to go out. I think it was three, right? Was it every two? Drop down. Come up. Attach there. 
So it's every third post. Ah, it's gonna suck right here. We're gonna have to end it right there. Unless... We can attach it down here, with the foundation. We can, so that'll work there. So that'll come down, we'll put another post right here. That works out perfect there. Now for the corner, hmm. If we go out one more, we'll have to get rid of the tree. We could just bring this down to a point. And then start it off of that. We've got to put a pillar there anyways. I do want to have a plant species on the end. I think, I think. Let's go ahead and get this part kind of sorted out here. Kind of go from there. Now, as far as the doorway, can the mammoth fit through a normal doorway? We might have to actually build a behemoth one. I don't think it can fit through a dino gateway. Hmm. Didn't think about that. The behemoth ones, dude, they're so tall, man. These things are so massive. All right, give me a minute. Let me catch up with these railings. I don't want to get too far behind on those. All right, so I'm caught up to the corner. I think we're going to go ahead and leave it like it is. And just have them go down at an angle. Put a pillar there like I talked about. Maybe go up too high. And then put our plant species up there. So that looks pretty good with the railings flipped upside down on the top. Kind of, uh, like I said, man, makes it seamless along the top. So, right here, I didn't put them down at a very steep angle like I normally do with these. Another comment you guys left was to leave them at the normal angle, and they attach a little bit better on the top part there. So, minor changes, man, minor changes. So, for right here, that should still be fine. That'll come above the tree with the plant species. And then our next one will actually start right there. So, it's kind of close, but it is a corner. Skip about two. Hmm. We'll have to see. Maybe we'll raise this up here. Start it early. And then we need to go ahead and make that gate here in a minute to try to get that thing sorted out. It's massive, so maybe we'll start it right here and go this way with it. I don't really want to have it out on an angle. I mean, we could. This is going to be the back corner right here. Let's just leave that there like it is. We might just start it here. Need to see how big it is. I'm not exactly sure of the footprint. Been a long time since I used them because they're so massive. That guy is... <laughs> I got him so weighed down with everything. We even have it unlocked? Wanted to do stone for sure. Gonna need the gate as well. I think we'll just have the one fence. Should be fine. So we need... There's only like 900. Let's take that. See if we throw it far enough to be able to pick it up. Do you have a stack of wood as well? Some thatch. There we go. Perfect throwing distance. Just saying. Just saying. One of you. We're missing... Stone and wood. Not a problem. Half of that one. That'll leave us a little bit extra. Was it stone? I think it was. And one of you. I think it's so funny, man. The resources waste so much to build them. Four pounds when it's made. <laughs> it's, it's a little off, dude. It's a little bit off. I think that should definitely weigh a little bit more. Try to make them somewhat even compared to the resource parts, you know? So how bad is this going to be right here? Massive. I should work right there, though. We want it to clip right there. So it'll come down right there. That'll be... That'll be fine. Let's go ahead and put a pillar right here. And then we'll just do some walls right there that should kind of connect it, I think. Why is that back so far? Wall should kind of come right to the edge of that. We'll go ahead and put down some foundations under this. I don't have any. Let's put the gate as well. It looks better too. The metal on it, 
New texture? What if they're as loud as they used to be? They're not. Ah, oh, that is so nice, dude. The gates used to be so loud whenever you'd open them. Let's grab... a couple foundations. I know, buddy, you're so overweight, man. It's fine, though, it's fine. You'll be alright! You'll be alright! If we move, we can. We'll square this off here. Is it... I need to remove these. <gasps> no! How is the whole thing balancing on that one? Super weird. Let's try that. Oh, that is weird. That is super weird. It's like the perfect spot, too, man. I don't want there to be a lip there for the dinos to get stuck on, you know? Why is it clipping sideways? That is super weird. Let's turn off clipping altogether. Hard to see, of course. Let's put it... Could do it right up against that one. Back it up some. We'll put down some... Foundations underneath. Now here's a problem too, I need to set these down first. If you don't clip it in, it's gonna be hard for it to be in line when we set it out. Let's do it this way. So that should be... ...angled properly. We'll just slide over. Maybe? Possibly? Could be perfect? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. It never happens. Where it lines up perfect. Remove these. Leave it. Come on, dude! Why is it attached to there? Here's what we need to do. Before I lose my mind. Totally! Set these out here. That way the fence is still in line with itself. It's a very bad place to end. I have to go up higher, I think, for right there. We'll have to see. I wanted to be on this side of that tree, so... Actually, you know what? Let's just do it to right. Oh, I don't want the plant species to be under the tree. That'll work there. And that'll go up. Alright, so we're good there. I want to clip to that one. Let's remove these all together. No clip points. Try it again. For the third time. Fourth time, third time, something like that. Come over here, get sorted out again. Arc building, dude. Holy crap, arc building. If you don't know what I'm doing, I'm trying to line up the left to right, like this way, with the foundations we have set out. That way, whenever I can just slide over, place it down, and it'll be somewhat straight. I think. Let's double check. There we go. That'll connect right into that on the side. A little bit of a footprint here for it to sit on. It's off a little bit there, but it's fine. It'll be alright. We are not picking it up for a fourth or fifth time. Put our door out again. <laughs> there we go, dude. That is kind of set. Do we have the walls? We don't. Let's grab some walls real quick. See how it looks capped off? You got a point, let's do... Damage again. I know, buddy. Exciting times, man, exciting times. 
Need to get the dough to clean out those rocks as well. So for this, we'll still do our railings coming down, I think. Make sure I don't accidentally pick up the door. Dude, I would... <laughs> I would go nuts if I did. I mean, it's the way that it goes, though. There we go, man. That caps off very, very nice. Now we should be able to do the same thing over there. Let's grab one pillar. I know it's a lot of back and forth. We need some more water. A little bit of food. And this one should be the exact same way right there. For the most part. It's off a little bit. Easy. There we go. Nice, man. Nice. Doesn't even clip into the thing. Ah, uh, dude, we need to move it over some. Give me a minute. I'm not going to put you through that pain. Give me a minute. Let me sort this out. And then um, we'll see where we're at in life. It's got to, dude. It's got to come over some. I cannot put a pillar there. Well, can we put a pillar there? Look, we're putting a pillar there. We're putting a pillar. <laughs> we'll leave it like it is. So. We've got one, two. That actually works out perfect because our ending one will be right here. Skip one. Put one there. One up top. Let's do this first. It's easier to... Do the down parts first, and then cap off the top when we're done. Maybe come to the outside. Pick up these. Put a pillar in the middle. Last pillar. Timed it out perfectly. We can do the same thing here, just flip it. Wait, I think we want the wood part facing up. There we go. Good way to cap it off. And there's our door. Get everybody in and out. Should be fine. I don't think anything could fit under there. And I need to grab, like I said, the dodic and the fairy. So there's some of the plants up here. All these can be picked, so it doesn't get taken away, like all these, from the foundation. So I need to kind of clean that up. Alright, give me a minute. I need to do these right here by hand. Actually, we're good here. I don't want the fairy to hit it and knock down our trees. Actually, I should probably pick all these by hand. Alright, so the yard is cleaned up. For the most part. Now, once we actually start getting everything built up around that side, it should keep all of the... Bushes from kind of popping back up, I hope. Thought the, tr <laughs> Thought the tree disappeared. But I got all the ones around the sides here, including the floating piece that was over there by Industrial Forge. I think it's been bugging me, dude. It's kind of set up off to the side, but... I think we're good here. So we'll come all the way up here. Hopefully in between these. Get rid of that one, too. And I'm thinking... Is it a straight shot from this corner here? It should be right here. It's gonna kind of end in between these two. Ah, it's kind of... be kind of weird with that tree there. It should be fine, though. Should be fine, but we'll go ahead and end it right there. Let's grab some of the... foundations real quick. Try to line it out. Then I can kind of build all the other stuff. Let's leave that. Let's leave that. I'll do the same thing. Line it out, and then move these around however I have to to make them sit properly. It's just, this one needs to be one more if we can. Well, let's do this. Hopefully one more will clip in the ground. It won't. So what we're going to do is go up to here, if we can. I saw you clip up there. Maybe it wanted to, but it didn't actually go up. It's gonna suck, man. We could always put a ceiling there. Maybe I'll do that. 
Wait, we have the three? We the same way right here, too. Will this one go up higher? Stop picking the, the stones, dude. Stop picking the stones. That'll go higher. We'll just step up twice there. One, two, three. One. Two. Step up. It's going to be off there. It's all right. We'll work it out. Let's just put the ce the uh, not the ceilings. Just put these down and we'll go from there. This tree's going to have to go. Not a big deal. Put the axe away, dude. Wrong button. I always hit the escape button way too many times. I think we'll be on the outside of that tree. That should be good there, I think. Let's go ahead and... Place these here. Now, we might do a normal gateway over here. Just to be able to get in and out. I think right here. Not a behemoth one. Oh, that's something, too. They go straight up. There is no top on those. Didn't the ASC ones have a top? It was like a full three-sided doorway, right? Interesting. Looks better like that for sure. That is right by that tree. Super close. Gonna have to be careful building around that. Need a couple more of these. So it's gonna end right about there. Heard footsteps. What level are you? Male 20, okay. Might have to get rid of that tree. Maybe. Possibly. If the fence can go underneath it without one of the plant species, we'll be fine. So we need one, two, three, four, probably four more of the foundations, and that'll be fine there. But that should be plenty of room right here, man, for all the teams. Let's grab a couple of these. Hold on to those. The grass, dude, is so tall. I like it, but I hate it at the same time. Be able to just go right off of this one. And probably up tall just to be able to see it. Nice man, nice. Alright, give me a few minutes. Need some more water. Really need to make a good set of cloth armor for doing stuff around base. But let me get all these sorted out. There's that one I set down, didn't know where it went. And I'll come back and show you what I came up with. The ones where I have to do one separate one, I'll probably, like I said, just do a ceiling there just to tie it over. And then hopefully put a wall down on each side, so it looks like it's a block. We're not painting them, so it doesn't really matter if the texture's off on them. So, alright, I got <laughs> quite a bit to do. I gotta finish this side over here, too. I was thinking about right here. Putting these down. And if we have to, we can put stairs over here. Coming down. I don't know if one will clip in here. It will. Maybe I'll do a ceiling right there. I think that'll look good. Have the stairs coming down too. Alright, so let me show you where we're at in life. For the most part, this whole side is done over to where we want to put the gateway at. Once you get the foundation set out where you want the walls to be, dude, it goes super fast, man. Super fast compared to some of the other walls. Now, a couple places, I think it was three altogether. Had to put down a ceiling. The grass doesn't go away. I wish they would really fix that properly. I was thinking about putting one of the fence foundations down underneath. But, I mean, it's for the wall here, so it doesn't really matter. We're not going to be over here, so don't have to worry about the grass poking through. But, so we'll do... I don't have them on me. I put it all in the, uh, the quetzal. We'll do one there for the plant species. And I'm thinking about maybe... Maybe one more over here? If not, I was, I was also thinking about doing just the corners. The corners and then right by the doorways. Kind of keep stuff away. Shouldn't have to worry about too much coming through here. Just raptors and dillos and stuff. The other place was right here for the ceiling. This kind of worked out perfect like the other side did over there. Where it kind of came down. And then the uh, pillar there. And the other place is right here. It's a lot of grass. But it's fine, dude. It's fine. The, uh, the tree kind of grows right over the fence. So right here. Let's remove two of those. That should be just enough to put our gateway in. I think, possibly. Let's grab the theory. I was trying to mow down some of the grass here. 
Keep it all nice, looking nice and neat. Don't hit the tree. Please don't hit the tree. It's weird how those things phase in and out, depending on how you're looking at it. I don't really like that. It's a change they made recently, I think, to help with performance on servers, but looks terrible in single player. Let's get rid of this. Easy. Don't hit the tree. Get rid of these. We'll have to see how we want to end it right there at the base. Let's put this guy inside. It is raining. Could be bath day, but don't want him to catch a cold. <laughs> He's got a boss fight to do soon. We're stuck in the ceiling. And I barely can't reach Junior. Sorry, give it a second. It'll, uh, it'll drop us. It should. Maybe. There we go. I don't want to pick up the roof because we got the paint on it, so. Oh, let's grab the, uh, the doorway. And then C2 with it raining outside. Me changing this to the gunmetal look. It's not as shiny as it was with the pure black. I don't know. I think it looks a lot better in here now. So this one should clip in. Right? It doesn't want to clip. Turn clipping off. It's fine. We'll manually set it. It's only a two wide doorway. So that should be half and half. We'll actually put a door on there too. We'll do the same thing. Might just do the walls themselves. Actually, I don't have any on me. Instead of trying to do the fences right there because it's so small. That looks better. That looks fine there. We're um, kind of off some here. Good there. It's still off here. Why is it so far off here? I'm not worried about the gap for the ground. I'm talking about the uh, the front to back. Needs to come over some more. Dude, it is super super hard for me to line this up for some reason. Let's. That'll be fine. You know what? We'll put a pillar right there at the edge. I know we're overweight. It's fine. No, it's fine. As long as we can move, it'll be all right. Let's go all the way down. Put that there. Let's put some of the walls. Something I noticed over here is the audio bugs out a lot. It'll start and stop a lot. I'm not too sure why. I should make it easier to place this down. It's got the pillars there. We got the pillars here. There we go. It's a lot better. Ah, oh, it's a lot better, dude. Alright, so... From there... Ah, oh, man, it's gonna be super weird here. We could... ...put one. So that'll actually bring it all the way down. And that still might work here. Because I'm just in into that. The exact same way. That looks fine, man. That looks fine. I mean, other than this kind of floating, <laughs> it is what it is. Look, you can only do so much with building an arc, even with ASA. Let's go ahead and just span these up top while they're flipped upside down. And finish that off there. Now this, I'm thinking about doing the same thing, just uh, it's going to kind of clip into that. We could put a wall there and a pillar. Right? Regular wall. Cap it off with a pillar. I think that works there. 
I'm not a fan of it stopping right into the glass. It kind of messes up our bay window, but only so much you can do sometimes with building a wall. Now, we don't really need that to connect there, so we could end it here. See, it connects right there already with the pillar and stuff. Let's see about picking this up, see how it looks. Another option for ending it right here is to put a plant species. Let's do that. Put a plant species right there, and then the wall actually stops right here. think that might be fine. Also another w easy way for us to get up onto here. Let's do that. I think with the plant species, it'll look good as an end cap. So not much left for this then, just a couple of the tiles right here. And one set here. Of course I am short one. But now I got two. <laughs> That's the way that it is, man. Alright, last one. And that is finished! It's not bad, dude. Let's see if we got a door. We should have one for this. I think our lighting for the inside is fine. It's plenty bright enough to keep everything kind of lit up, you know? It's a regular door. Oh, we had a behemoth one already made. Must have got it from a drop. We don't have the actual doorway, though. Should have looked before I built one. I usually trash all that stuff, just for weight reasons. I mean, I usually fly around on the Argentavis or the Pterodon. Mainly the Pterodon lately, just looking for the, ugh, the long neck, man. Long neck or some flak. So the problem with doing it at a slight slope is it doesn't match these. Let me look at something real quick. We might just change the ones up front here. Then it looks kind of worse, right? I mean, then you only have the one. What if we do a second one? Honestly, I think that looks better, because then the slopes are all at the same. Right? And really what I should do is, on this one, I should flip it. To make a match. Oh, because it kind of connects into a different place. So it doesn't matter how this one goes. I do like that better, though, like this. I might go ahead and change all those other ones around, just to match it. There we go, man. There we go. I'll do the rest of that off-camera, don't worry. We'll do it on-camera. That's fine there. So, plant species, that's the next order of business. And then we need to extend our range on the water tanks. So water tanks are going to need, we'll say one over here, a place down. So one... Two, three, four, maybe five total. I think we have two. Let's take these two. Let's turn on the range. Ah, you know what? We need to set up our doorway. So one in this corner should reach all the way up to here. We want to put these on a foundation. I kind of do to make it look better. Actually, you know what? It'll fit right here. That'll do up to the doorway. One more in this corner. Don't snap, buddy. Don't snap. What's oh, on snappy now? Disable. 
I want it right here in the corner. There we go. That'll work out. Don't punch it, dude. Don't punch it! It is fragile. Does that overlap? Does that count? It bar <laughs> barely... Hey, look, man. It's all that matters. As long as it barely overlaps. So that should supply water over here. Let's try to drink from it. A guy is thirsty. Let's refill... Oh, we can't. That's already, actually already full. So that's good there. And then the next one we'll set up in this corner. So we only need... Like, two more. Should be fine. Let's make those up real quick. We should have enough of the metal and paste. Hopefully. Paste? Metal? Look at that throw, man. Should have played baseball. Just saying. Just saying. Was it two? Need to turn those off here in a second, too. Alright, so this one will set... I'm thinking in the corner right here. Almost goes enough to make it with that one. And the last one up here in this corner. And we should be set for water. It's not too bad, dude. I really like how they did the irrigation. At first, it kind of annoyed me because I thought, like I said many times, this one had to be inside that radius. But as long as the radiuses overlap, we're golden. Is that? Is that overlapping? It is. Okay. So we're good. Let's go ahead and turn all these off. So all I gotta do now is make up some more of the plant species. I think we're just gonna do the corners. And then in front of the door. So one, two, three, four, one for down there. Five, six, four, five. Let's do five. We'll see how it kind of works out. So give me a minute. Let me make up some more of the crop plots. That one's off. Turn all these off, and I need to paint that door over there. I need to change it to a secret door as well. Alright, so, I got the secret doorway kind of fixed right here. Got plenty of room to get to our water tank as well as this. Now we are down to 15 from 23, so definitely need to make some more gas here soon. Before all the lights turn off, I'm just saying. All of the railings have been flipped as well. Okay. It's a thing. <laughs> Jump up. They're all at the steeper angle with the stone on the top. So, got it all fixed. Looks nice. I'm glad we can leave some of these here, man. Looks fantastic having that bamboo around. I'd like to have it more over here as well. Try to fill some of this in. I like a lot of it right here, but it doesn't naturally grow there. And we can't plant it. So, kind of weird, but is what it is. Now I went ahead and made up six of the crop plots, six ceilings, six of the ladders, and then grabbed the plant species. I do realize we had enough <laughs> without going to the swamp. I wasn't sure how many of them I wanted to put out, before, you know, whenever I started building. So I figured it was better to have more than we needed than not enough. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So turn back on clipping. Put you there. Two of those. One of those. It should grow up, and I'm hoping kind of block that off some. It does. I mean, a little bit. It might. Kind of worried. That's a very big gap right there, but have to see how it works out. Close that. Let's do the corners first. I need some of the pillars. I don't want to have too many to where it looks weird. But I definitely want to have enough to where it keeps everything away. Let's start off in this corner over here. Need a lawnmower, dude. Need a tech lawnmower for sure. So this one's going to be weird with the ladder. You actually get to it? It's not giving me the option to... <laughs> to attach to it. I was wondering if that was going to be a problem on that one. Hmm. Let's go to the outside. We'll string some ladders on the side. Oh, dude, that thing scared me. Holy crap, man! Look, dude, look! I jumped so bad in real life, I almost knocked my headphones off. <laughs> I was thinking about how I'm gonna get up to this if I don't, uh... 
Leave the ladders on this side. Holy crap, man. Let's leave that there. Maybe one will be enough. There we go. You need to be dry <laughs> directly under it. Don't climb all the way up. Parasaurs, man. Tell you what. So that, <laughs> that'll that work there. We can leave that. We'll pick the other one up on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do one here, too. Might as well. Might as well. We'll set it up right there. We'll do it from the inside so we can put the ladder out. I think for these... I want to pick them up. I don't want to do it now, though, because as soon as I do, it's going to delete the delete the gates. I'll do it off camera in case I have to fix this. Ah, oh, man. It's going to suck, dude. All right. So that's good there. Is it? It's growing. Very, very small, but it is growing. That's how it starts off when they grow, right? Start off small, then they get bigger. Do the ladder here as well. So the ladders, if you didn't know, they're here for adding fertilizer and stuff. And being able to get to the actual crops, you know. That is still very weird how it gets so laggy whenever you try to drag those over. I thought that was something that would be fixed with ASA, but apparently it is not. We have the same problem here as we did on the other side in the corner. We'll just do it from the outside. Now, I'm not going to put one right next to that big door because, I mean, we have this one right here. So it should be fine. Now, they're not going to be even, but I'm not too worried about it, dude. It'll be fine. And then two of those. And do it that way so you don't get that lag. Not gonna put one here, I don't think. I was gonna put one on the outside, but I mean the range on these actually, if I have them up long, it will reach everything in between anyways. Now we shouldn't need these because of the fence, but I want to have them up for whenever we go to take the dinos out. At least the ones over there. They're mainly just for looks. One more crop plots. And we probably aren't going to do them by the other gates. There's no reason to. But that works there. I am so glad the water stretches all the way out here without running the pipes and stuff. Yeah, that one will be under the tree. Hey, well, let's go ahead and put one right here. Just for looks. We got an extra one anyways. We can do this one from the inside. I think it's funny, so my hands are on the ladder. But the shadow kind of moves like I'm putting stuff in. <laughs> Super weird, dude. Super weird, man. That kind of gets that squared away. I like it, dude. I like that a lot, how the opening is. Junior! Your head's kind of... Yep, it's, it's a bit awkward. Just saying. But that'll allow us to have our big teams and stuff outside here. And I don't have to worry about them getting destroyed or killed off by the little compies. I tell you what, man, if I lost a team to compies, or even to the little dillos, I would be... Uh, it's happened before, and I'm not happy about it. But at least now, our teams for the dino, or for the uh, boss fights can be out here and be safe. Are you still overweight? You're fine. You're fine, dude. You're fine. We'll leave you out here, man. Let you roam around. That's kind of sad. We'll have to see. Once they grow up, I might, like I said, just turn on the ones that are over here. So that whenever we go in and out, it'll be fine. Don't really like the big doorway, but we kind of need it for the, uh, for the boss fight. Ah, dude, well, not too bad of a day. We got the Great Wall built. <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot larger than what it is. So all we got left to do to get this base totally finished and operational is put the greenhouse down and then build the water pin. I had to see about the water pin, how deep it is and how far we have to go out. Now, I want to do some scouting behind this, too, to see if going the other way is a little bit easier than over by the obelisk. We'll have to see, man. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're enjoying our base build over here by the red obelisk. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.